The 1930s and 40s brought about streamlined diesel locomotive designs in America. While nice to look at, it was hard to see out the back of them when switching. To combat this, locomotive builders introduced road switcher models. They had walkways either side of the body, higher speed road trucks, and could act as both a mainline or switcher engine. Electromotive Division introduced their own road switcher with the BL1, based upon their previous F3 model. BL stood for Branch Line, as EMD marketed it for service on lightweight tracks. One was for the model number. The locomotive had a top speed of 65 miles per hour and produced 1,500 horsepower with an EMD 567B prime mover. It weighed 230,000 pounds, came in at a length of 54 feet, a width of 10 feet 7 inches, and a height of 15 feet. The design was relatively stout, with sloped sides to allow the crew to see behind them. A demo unit was built in September 1947, with feedback from railroads resulting in the visually identical BL2 production model. It had a heavier frame and draft gear and multiple unit compatibility. Nine railroads placed orders between 1947 and 49, with the Pierre Marquette ordering the most at 14 units. The railroads put them to work on switching, light freight, and short passenger trains. Unfortunately, the BL2 proved to be a bit unpopular. It was expensive and time-consuming to build, and its design made it difficult to access and maintain the mechanical components. It also lacked walkways on the side unlike its competitors, and debatably, its appearance was deemed ugly. Ugly indeed! EMD tried to design something that resembled a classy passenger engine, but also evoked the utilitarian aesthetics of a freight model. The 60 units that were built worked revenue trains up until the 1970s and 80s, with the Bangor and Aroostook being the last to retire them. One, however, did survive on the Wisconsin and Calumet into the 90s. Luckily, preservation of the little BL2s began just as soon as they were retired. The Louisville and Nashville donated their inherited Mo Non No. 32 to the Kentucky Railway Museum in 1972. Ultimately, seven were preserved, with some of them operating excursion trains. Even if the BL2 wasn't very popular, it did act as a stepping stone for EMD's far more successful General Purpose, or GP, series of diesels. Whether you like how the BL2 looks or not, it's hard to deny that it did have some charm. By the way, if you think the BL2 looks ugly, you're a BIG NERD! Thank you to my channel members. Special thanks to Mooter, Transit Kid Jason, and Liam Wright for subscribing to the Conductor tier.